Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about how to solve second order initial value problem using Laplace transforms. First of all, we have to remember these two rules. Laplace f prime of t equals s Laplace f of t minus f of zero and Laplace f double prime of t equals s squared Laplace f of t minus s f of zero minus f prime of zero. Now we have example number one. In example number one, we have to solve y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals sine t, where y of 0 and y prime of 0 equals 0 using Laplace transforms. The first step, apply Laplace transforms for each term. So we have Laplace y double prime minus 2 Laplace y prime minus 3 Laplace y equals Laplace sine t. So, from the previous rule, Laplace y double prime equals s squared ly, Laplace y, minus s y of 0, minus y prime of 0. Now, Laplace y of t, we have 2 times Laplace y of t, which is s Laplace y of t minus y of 0, minus 3 Laplace y of t equals Laplace sine t from the table of Laplace transform, which is 1 over s squared plus 1. Now substitute the initial conditions y0 and y prime of 0 equals 0. So these terms have been eliminated and you can take Laplace yt as a common factor. So you have Laplace yt times s squared plus 2s minus 3 equals 1 over s squared plus 1. Now divide by this expression. So you have Laplace y of t equals 1 over s squared plus 2s minus 3 times s squared plus 1. You can factorize here. So you have 1 over s minus 1 s plus 3 times s squared plus 1. To get y of t, you have to apply Laplace inverse. So you have U, uh, y of t equals Laplace inverse of this guy here. And we have to use the partial fractions here as a over s minus 1 plus b over s plus 3. And because this is second degree, so you have to write here c s plus d. Now you have to find these constants a, b, c, and d. Number one, you have to find the common denominator here. So, after the common denominator, we have here, uh, you can compare between the two sides. So, here, equal denominators. So, we have equal numerators. One equals all of these guys here. Uh, you can use random values to get for S, random values for S. For example, assume S equals negative 3. Uh, assume s equals 1 to get these values try to do it by yourself uh, as we discussed it in the previous lectures and uh, now we have y of t after substituting a b c and d here so y of t equals 1 over 8 the plus inverse 1 over s minus 1 after substituting a b c d uh, we have y of it equals 1 over 8 Laplace inverse 1 over s minus 1, which is using Laplace transforms table e to the power t. And here, uh, 1 over s plus 3, it's Laplace inverse is e to the power negative 3t. s over s squared plus 1 cosine t, 1 over s squared plus 1, which is sine t.